Next I'm going to have a look at this little sucker here. Tailstock for my lathe. Um, not happy with its operation. If you were to pull the lever up here for it to uh, stop the uh, basically lock it down it still will move under a bit of pressure. Now I keep my ways nice and oiled. Please don't tell me I've got to run the ways dry for it to uh, get traction. Now okay there is a bolt down in there which is hard to see. Uh, that bolt down in there can be tightened but if you tighten it it gets to a point now where this does not go back to its seating position which is a little bar down there so actually pushing that down tightens it up in the other direction and it tends to lift the nose up which is totally wrong so if you screw that down yeah it just doesn't work properly um, the only other way to do it would be to lift this all the way up and then actually manually screw it down from here so you don't use the quick connection so I'm going to pull uh, this off the lathe and have a look and see if there's something obvious that is just not working okay so we've got the tail stock off the lathe and so not sure how's the best way to show operation hmm maybe I'll pull this off here altogether this could be nasty right so there's your bolt the adjusting bolt obviously slides up and down on the ways here and here's your clamp so I can't really see anything in particular the only thing I can think of is this adjusting nut here I wonder if there's a relation on how tight how much thread sticking through that as how much movement that has compared to the pulling up of this bolt here it does doesn't seem to want to move too much up and down so if I back that off yeah it's sort of okay right so that right now it's dawning it's starting to dawn on me so there is a relationship between this nut and how the operation of this works because this bolt that this nut is riding in would obviously travel through this spindly doodad and that would how because this even though this is now loose I cannot push this through so it must be connected on a cam or something into the bowels of this tailstock so I'm going to toy with uh, maybe uh, backing this off a bit and tightening this bottom nut up and this may uh, give me the fix that I'm looking for right so I've adjusted the nut underneath the tailstock and uh, basically had it so this will still slide but tightly there's no real play underneath there and the handle itself is now gripping and pushing up way before it gets to the top here oddly enough this nut here is still loose um, I, I can just have it so it's just not even really finger tight if I do any more on that one then this lever starts operating in the down position which it is doing now so that must rock back and forward so that now is tightening up on the down but it's not tightening up it's pushing up so it really needs to try and do this with one hand on the camera not easy 
Oh, I'm gonna have to get a little shifter in here. And you can actually see that handle moving down. So oh, it must be just a, a quirk of these Chinese lathes. So at least now it's going back to the resting point. And I can still slide it along. I thought I'd do a bit of a check. Got a bit of brass in here. If I tighten this handle up, quite tight. And push out the spindle on the tailstock. While that is still sliding back, I am putting quite a lot of force on there, which is more force than I'd like to do. Anyway, I suppose I could tighten that down there as well. As long as it doesn't pull the nose up. The only way to find that, I suppose, would be to put a uh, dead centre in here. In the Morse taper number 5, I think is in this. And just check to see that they're lining up. So I've got the uh, centre in the headstock of the lathe. And I'm just going to see what the alignment is versus the tailstock. Uh, I did move it a little bit the other day. I think it had to go a little bit away by a couple tenths. So I'm interested to see uh, how close it is to the centre of the headstock. Zoom in a bit. Wind in it's pretty close, if anything. Tail stock may be slightly high. Gee, it's hard to tell. I to use the clamp here, does that make any... Let's make sure they're not touching. Just a little bit. And if I back that off... What if I was to tighten it up in the other direction to... In the background it probably feels, sounds like we're in Jurassic, Jurassic Park or something. You know, just the local birds. Having a good time. I think that one is the uh, sulphur crested sulphur crested cockatoo. You can hear. Right. So. Not a lot I can do with it being up or down at a different level. I'll just change the centre out with the live centre. The end of it, it is not as um, sort of uh, used. I don't think anyway. Yeah, you 
you can definitely tell geez not much so that's up and down sort of governed by the lathe on that it's not a lot of difference I don't think I could do anything really to make a lot of difference to that try and change the camera angle to come down from the top and that'll give us the uh, inboard and outboard perspective um, from where I am I don't know might need to go outboard a bit let's see if zooming in on the camera shows okay so looking at that uh, video picture there it does look like it does have to go outboard a bit so there are adjusters on this tailstock without looking at the camera you've got to let the pressure off I'll stop and do the adjuster on one side and tighten it up more on the other. So if we're lucky, look at that, move the wrong direction. That's why in my other videos I show using a dial indicator to make sure you're going in the right direction. So let's back this one off a bit further tighten up the other one How does that look? Have I gone a bit far? It's not easy to do trying to... Looking at it by eye, I really can't tell. I do, I do wear glasses for close-up, but... So let's add a bit more on this one. I think I might have gone too far. Still fiddling about here. I don't know, it's going to be close, maybe a little bit back on this one. I think that's as good as I can see anyway. And if we have a look at the indicator at the back of the tail stop stock, it is pretty much on zero again. We'll just move it over and have a look at that. Okay, so this is one of the adjustment holes here. Allen key goes in there. There's another one on the other side, and they basically fight each other in moving this independent to the slide that goes up and down okay so here's the adjuster here one of two there's one equally on the other side and they basically push a pull against one another to move this more in a um, sort of a, a Y axis rather than an X axis so you can get it to meet in the correct place back now it's been adjusted it does appear to be pretty close to the factory line maybe a little bit off anyway so that's uh, adjusting tail stock to meet the headstock center 
make sure it's within reason.